Hello everybody, Cozy Sims here. That feels so weird to say. <laughs> um, as most of you hopefully know, I recently changed my name on YouTube from Little Little Simmer was my name before, and I just I just needed a change. I just thought you know now was the time, and so I chose Cozy Sims, and I changed my. YouTube intro, not by much. I just changed my the the name. That's literally all I changed. Like the music and everything is the same. But I do have a new like outro, which is really pretty. I made it myself. And yeah. It's just it's just really nice to have a fresh start. And hopefully hopefully you guys don't mind. Um but I wanted to build a... I started off wanting to build a starter home. And I started off with wanting to stick to a budget of under 20,000 simoleons. Because 20,000 simoleons is what you start with when you're... when you get out of create a sim. When you finish making your family. And I was doing good and then I wasn't paying attention to how much money I was spending. <laughs> um, and so I decided to call this the not-so-starter house because it's only about like 30-something thousand. And, um, which is way, like, way better than <laughs> what, I, like, what my houses usually are. Like, my houses are usually, like, um, like, between... 50 and 60,000 simoleons, I think, is what my biggest house was. Um, so yeah, this was definitely a challenge. I do want to say, and I'm really proud of this, there is, there's only, I want to say, one thing that is custom content in this house, and that, and that is the roof. I don't think, uh, I think I used um, a custom floor like a custom wood pattern so the roof and the wood pattern on the floor and like like a wood pattern for like other things but that's the only custom content that i use all of the objects are i either got from base game or from expansion packs and i'm so proud of myself <laughs> sometime in the near future i really do want to sit down and make a, like a true starter home that's under twenty thousand simoleons. Um, who knows? I might, I might do that next. <laughs> you never know. But this house is available for um, download, or it will be by the time this video comes out. But it's just it was it was so fun to just sit down and just build something that I usually wouldn't build. And so you know, I, I go I go wild with the with the trees, and it's just so I just love how this house turned out. <laughs> I can't say that enough. But how is everybody else doing? I'm I'm doing okay. Um, we're getting some we're getting some rain and some snow mixed in with that rain, so I'm a little nervous for work tomorrow because I drive. For a living, I drive for Pizza Hut. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much. <laughs> besides me, um, besides me, uh, going, you know, buck wild with the with the flowers and all that stuff. It's this house. I, I guess. I can't say how much I love this house. It's so pretty. And right now we're working on the inside. Like, we're I'm trying to figure out where to put the stairs. And I do this for a hot minute. Like, nothing looked good. I couldn't figure out the floor plan. But we eventually get there. Oh, and that's another thing. Those stairs that I use are also custom content. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you download the house, you will get the custom content that, that goes in it. Um, and I didn't bother to cut out me, um, saving the game. Uh, but yeah, I recently, 
And when I say recently, I mean two days ago. It was my first day off. And it was on Tuesday. Because I'm recording this on Thursday at like four in the morning. <laughs> um, but on Tuesday, I took myself on a little book date. I went to the bank and I deposited, I deposited my money that I made that we the, this past weekend. And I decided to go take myself to Goodwill and see if I could find any books. Because I've been really wanting to get back into reading lately. And I found 10 series of unfortunate event books. I thought that I had 1 through 11 but I only, but I, I didn't see that I didn't get the second book. And I started reading it Tuesday night after I got home. And then I was finished with it within like an hour or two. So I've, I've, I read, I read the first book. I have seen the movie, but reading the books is so much more fun. And I think... <laughs> As I'm watching this, so there's like a pause. I think I was using the restroom and getting a drink of water. Um, but this house, let's talk about the house. Um, this house is has actually has two bedrooms and a bathroom. I started off with making um, one bedroom and then a huge bathroom for some reason, which I thought was silly. And then... There was a small room that I was going to use for a washer and dryer. But I converted the washer and dryer room into a, a very tiny bathroom. But it has, like, you know, the necessities that you have. It has the, you know, your toilet, your sink, your shower. Um, it has, you know, some a little bit of decoration in it. Um, but, yeah. This house, it's so pretty. Like, it's, it, I, I, I want to imagine somebody who is just starting off and they found this house for cheap and they got like a bunch of hand me down furniture from their grandparents or something. Um, because that actually happened to me when I was um, still living in Ohio before I moved here to Illinois. My grandmother was moving to my uncle's house because she has dementia really bad and she needed somebody to take to take care of her. And so they were going to throw away like all of her stuff. And then I was like, no, girl, I want it. <laughs> Bring it to my small apartment. And then so from then until I moved here to Illinois, my my house at, in Ohio before I moved here looked like my grandma's house. <laughs> Which was really nice, because I had, I literally had her couch, I had her TV, I had her TV stand, I had all of her decorations. It was insane. Um, but, I digress. <laughs> um, I want to address something that somebody pointed out in my, I think it was the second part of my legacy challenge that I did, that I uploaded a few days ago. Um... I f totally forgot that I said this thing that, um, I don't know if it offended the person that brought it to my attention or if it, like, if, it, if they were just bringing it to my attention that, that it wasn't okay that I said it. And I guess it, I was, I, I think I was in the middle of renovating a room because my son there is an architect design career um is in the architect design career and I was in the middle of like renovating and I I seen like um a room with like pink walls and like pink sheets and stuff and so I said oh that, that's a that's a girl's room or that's a cute girl's room or something like that and somebody brought it to my attention that um I shouldn't say things like that because you know, not only girls can like pink and purple and whatnot. And that's true. And I just wanted to apologize if I did offend anybody. That was not my intention. But even if it wasn't my intention, I should not have said it. And I just wanted to apologize for it. If it just on the off chance that it did offend somebody, just know that I would, that, that was not my intention. Um, 
but that's all I'm gonna say about that. I guess wanted to I just wanted to come on here and apologize for it. But anyway, <laughs> serious things aside, let's you know let's keep talking about this house because this house is so beautiful. Um, pretty much everything in it is either base game or came from expansion packs, like I said before. And I kind of took inspiration from the Plum Dot. I've been watching a lot of Plum Dot's videos and I just love how she decorates. And so I've been kind of taking inspiration from her houses a little bit and how she decorates. Um, she, like her, um, I think it was called like her little red starter home, I think is what it's called. Um, I was watching that and I was like, oh, I'm going to try to... I'm gonna try to make something like that. Um, it looks a little bit like it. The layout's different, and the furniture is is different, and all that. So I didn't copy her thing exactly, <laughs> but it definitely looks a little bit like it. Um, which really wasn't my intention. I was actually going off of like, if you guys have ever seen The Sims Four. Like, in Newcrest, like, one of the starter houses. Um, it doesn't look exactly like it, but it, it's, like, narrow like it. And, you know, stuff like that. And, um... But yeah. <laughs> the kitchen is what we're working on right now. And I think the kitchen is my favorite room of the house. Um... But yeah, if, uh... So... If I'm think if I'm remembering everything right, the wood on the countertops is custom content. The stairs are custom content. The roofing pattern is custom content. And I think I used that wood pattern in a couple of other things, but that's the only custom content that I use. I was. I went into this wanting to use no custom content and use only, um, use only, like, expansion packs. Eventually I want to do a base game build, but that's going to be so hard, and I don't want, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I think this is close enough for now. It, I, I will do it eventually, but right now. This is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to get from now, like for now. And I put a little backsplash like behind the kitchen, like behind the stove. Um, you see it? And it, it, it's just, I think I took an abstract and then I like went into the hex code and I just put FFFFF to make it all white to see what it would look like. And it came out really pretty. And I really like it. <laughs> um... I need to get some more, like, stuff packs. Um, I don't know if there's... I don't know if it's still going on, but there's a couple of Sims 4 packs that are free. Or they were free for a while. I don't know if that's still going on or not. I think it might be over. But I definitely grabbed it. <laughs> and I do want to... I do want to build more in the Sims 4. Because, you know, it's just... The mechanics of building in The Sims 4 are so good. I like the graphics of The Sims 3 better, but I like the game, like the, not, not the gameplay, but I like the, the mechanics of build mode in The Sims 4 better. I think my favorite thing that you can do in The Sims 4 is you can look up certain items. And I wonder if there is, I'm, I'm actually wondering if there's a mod for that. I really, I'm really wondering if there is a mod for that to put in The Sims 3. Because, you know, um, you know, in The Sims 4, you can, you can freely move things without, or, you know, without, you don't have, you, like, you don't need OMSP. You can just freely move things, and you can raise things off the ground, and you can make things bigger and smaller, and all that good stuff. Um... With the help of mods, we can do that in The Sims 3. So I'm wondering, I'm really wondering if there's a mod that lets you look up things that you have in the yeah, that you have in your game. But we, yeah, I've managed to talk my way through all the way upstairs. Um, 
So I'm really not sure what else to talk about here. So the the, the master bedroom is um, <clears throat> is the larger bedroom on the other side of the stairs, and then there is a guest bedroom in the other room, and it just it just came out so pretty. And I usually don't decorate like the other bedrooms. I usually decorate like one bathroom and like the master bedroom if I'm feeling froggy. <laughs> But I, I, you know, I felt, you know, that since this house is so small, I might as well just, you know, I might as well just, oop, I just hit my table. I'm sorry if you heard that. Um, I just figured, you know, I might as well bite the bullet and decorate everything. Because I just, I had so much fun building this house. And I... Something else I need to do. I need to get some like tester sims so I can, or get a tester sim so I can test the houses that I build. So like you know, so I can make sure that they actually work. Um, but maybe actually I'll do that. <laughs> maybe I can like level up my architect design career chick and then make her a tester so because if you're in the architect design career you there's like certain certain i think the either the building items or the buy items are i think for the architect design career if you have like level 10 or something then the the buy items are cheaper and then there's like you know careers that you can go into to make things cheaper something like that <laughs> um but yeah, we're just we're working on recoloring of things and um hmm. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um but yeah, this I saved so if you notice I've saved this game so many times. Um but that's only because um I guess started lightning outside and I didn't want my game to I really didn't want my game to crash um, How much longer do we got? We got about two minutes left, I think so I think I'm going to leave you guys here um, With some music. I hope you guys have been enjoying my This is the Sims 1 music that I've been putting in the background. I haven't gotten copyrighted yet <laughs> And I hope I never do so I'm going to leave you guys here with some music, and I will see you guys in my next one. And don't forget to, you know, subscribe and do all the cool things. It really helps my channel out. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.